We're at Capel Manor College in Greater London. Head of Horticulture and Landscaping Tom Cole is going to show us how to plant seeds in a basic seed tray. This type of tray is hardy enough to be washed and reused year after year. It's ideal for finer seeds. Check your seed packet to find out when best to plant. We're going to be planting Brussels sprouts. Step 1. You will need some seeds, a seed tray, a striking board, which is a strip of wood indented on one side to fit precisely into a seed tray. This can be bought or made. A firming board. This is a piece of wood used to press down the soil. A sieve. Some soil. A good seed sowing and cutting compost is ideal. A watering can with a rose. An indelible pen and plant labels. All of these are available from your nearest garden centre. Step 2. Fill the tray. Put the soil into a sieve, breaking it up as much as you can with your hand. Sieve the soil over the tray, working the lumps out as you go. Keep adding soil and sieving until the tray is overflowing. Tap the tray, allowing the soil to settle into the corners. Drag the striking board across the top of the seed tray to sweep off the overflow. If you don't have one, you can use your hand. Then fit the indented side of the striking board into the tray and sweep off about one centimetre of soil. Step 3. Firm the soil. Use a wooden firming board to push the earth down into the tray until the board is level with the lip. If you don't have one, you can use your hand. Step 4. Water. Turn the rose on the watering can upwards. Start running the water at the side of the tray. This will prevent disruption to the soil surface as you water the soil. Pass it over the tray four times, gently sprinkling the soil. Step 5. Sow. Open the seed packet and shake a few into the palm of your hand. Take a pinch of seeds and drop them onto the soil, leaving a little distance between each one. Step 6. Cover. Most seeds need a covering of soil. Check the seed packet to see if yours do. For demonstration purposes, we're going to cover half of the tray so you can see how much soil is needed. The soil cover should be twice the height of the seeds, just a light layer. Then press down again with the firming board. Step 7. Label. Lastly, you should label your seeds. Use an indelible pen to put the date on one side of the label and the seed type on the other. Step 8. Leave to grow. Different seeds require different growing conditions. Check the packet. It's usually somewhere warm and sunny like a greenhouse or a windowsill. Top tip. To check if the seeds need more water, dig your finger into the soil up to the knuckle. If it doesn't feel moist, water them. Done.